You can't come here, hear the word of God every week and go back with that fear on you. Let, let me stop preach and let the Lord call somebody else who will, you know, who will do it. But no. I also had a spirit of fear. I hope you know I had a spirit of fear. My dad, my, let me share my, my, my testimony, guys. My dad died when I was 17 years old. Okay? And I went to live with my mom. And she lived in a, a house in Kingston, Jamaica. And they leave me at night and they, and they go. And I'm a, why do you think I'm so bold now? I'm a 17 year old chicken. No kidding. I'm a 17 year old chicken. Hello? And I, and I, I can't stay up until 8 o'clock. I sleep as night comes. And in this house, I'm all by myself. And every night, I don't even know that demons exist in that, in a experiential sense. I know them from the Bible, but I don't have any encounter with them. And they're holding me down in the night. Holding me down. And I'm fighting and I'm fighting. I start sleeping with the TV on. And guess what? In Jamaica, back then, the TV signed off like 12 o'clock. So I wake up and the place is dark. Oh! And I can't move. And this thing happened for a very long time. Even into my marriage, this thing happened. It, I got used to it. I was like, well, they're not doing me anything. So I just wait until it, I, I keep doing my hand like this, kicking my hand. If my hand gets tired, I kick my feet. Until one of them move, and then I jump over my belly, belly and go back to bed. No kidding. Until I begin to have a little bit of keenness about spiritual things I begin to tune in and I go and one time this happened to me and when it happens I cannot speak and I thought I said in the name of Jesus Christ you have to go and I saw a monster a massive big monster got up off of me and did this off of the bed and the first thing I thought should I chase him down and clobber him dumb as a bat spiritually speaking I still don't know much I'm just making another noise so people can come into the kingdom. That's all I'm into. Yeah. Fear had me like that. So from that day, I go, I have so much power. Ha! Huh! I go, my God Almighty, did, I didn't hook my mouth. Can you imagine if I hook my mouth? And you know, like I like to kick my foot. Can you imagine if I kick my feet? What are they going to do now? So you see, I'm asserting myself now because of that. No more spirit of fear coming back here. No. Uh-uh. Not this house. Amen. And that, that's why I know when I go on the street, guys, I can preach the word of God. I can speak to anybody, anybody. If I meet Justin Trudeau in a elevator tomorrow, I preach Jesus Christ to him. And if I meet Joe Biden tomorrow in a, on the street, I preach Jesus Christ to him. And if I meet the Pope tomorrow, I preach Jesus Christ to him. Period. Because they don't know God. 